Okina sought a mastery of his legendary katana over all else. But what would he be willing to sacrifice in order to achieve his goal? Let's explore the tale of the demon swordsman Okina. Before we venture into the lands between, here's a quick shout out to Aoa.com, our sponsor. If you want runes, items, armor, and weapons right now, you can get it from these worthy tarnished. And by using the code in the description, you can get 3% off, courtesy of the Inhuman One. Okina hailed from the land of reeds, and was renowned for his unrivaled swordsmanship. Although his true name was lost to time and his way of life, his moniker held a great significance. The Japanese word Okina, when translated, means venerable or old man, and it was a nickname he earned because of the unique no theater mask he wore. To be venerable means to be greatly respected because of one's wisdom, expertise, and years of experience. A fitting title due to not only his unmatched skills with a katana, but also his former role as master of the Inaba clan. The item description for the Okina mask provides an incredibly telling glimpse into the mind of this inhuman swordsman and reads, a wooden mask that depicts an old man baring his teeth, the source of the silver K of the great swordsman of the land of reeds. The more he sharpened his mind, the more the absurdities of the world came into stark relief. And so Okina renounced it all and rose to a higher plane. There was only himself, his katana, and its mastery. Before long, Okina became a demon of a swordsman. It seems that before Okina reached this heightened state of awareness and understanding of the state of the world, he led a clan of warriors from his homeland. The highest ranking students of his teachings were the Inaba. The flavor text for the white reed armor lends a bit more detail. Armor of the white reeds, fashioned from banded iron plates, worn by the Inaba, head disciples of the great swordsman Okina. The Inaba traveled in pursuit of not only their master, who abandoned them, but also proper deaths, won honorably through hard-fought combat. To be a white reed is to seek death, fitting for the Inaba who desired nothing more than to die by the sword. It's uncertain when Okina abandoned his clan, but it likely coincided with his elevation to a higher plane, when he realized the futility of it all. The true ugly nature of the world and its inhabitants who desperately sought meaning where none existed. Sadly, in his pursuit of katana mastery, the Inaba had no place in his new simple life. A life that was shaped to achieve one singular purpose, becoming the ultimate swordsman. Okina would carve a bloody path through any who opposed him using his unique dual wielding style. Equipped with the infamous katana Rivers of Blood and the Wakizashi, he would challenge even the gods themselves. The corpses piled higher than the human eye could see, and blood flowed freely. Okina's signature sword even caught the eye of the Lord of Blood. The item description states, Weapon of Okina, Swordsman from the Land of Reeds, a cursed weapon that has felled countless men. When Moog, the Lord of Blood, first felt Okina's sword and madness upon his flesh, he had a proposal to offer Okina the life of a demon whose thirst would never go unsated. Okina would accept the offer and become the legendary demon swordsman. Despite his insatiable desire to improve his skills and spill the blood of his enemies, perhaps Okina finally found peace and serenity on his journey, as the Tarnish encountered him at the aptly named Church of Repose, the place that would serve as his eternal resting place. And that's all for this video. Until next time, it's the Inhuman One, signing out.